Welcome back everybody to my absolute favorite videos to make, Lovers Gonna Love. Why do I love it so much? Because I get to shout out all the people I love, and all the people that love me. What's there not to love about it? So let's get right into it. First up, we have Marley OK. She says, if people from iDub's video are still hating on you, they are retarded. Don't worry about any of it. Marley OK, I... Thank you so much, I do appreciate your support, but I will say this though, this channel was built on haters for my dubs, so I say keep them cut. Loser says, y'all need more subs, for real. Thank you, this is exactly what I've been saying for over a year now. Next comment comes from a dear friend, TV. okay. This is such a great idea, dude, looking forward for more. He was talking about where I did the commentary over top of the old Gator Poon videos. I was real nervous about doing those videos, and I'm happy that people enjoyed them. I really am. Uh, I thought it'd be a nice way to introduce some of the old stuff to some of the new fans. Um, so glad you guys liked it. And Jay Bose, you know how much I love your channel and your content. So seriously, guys, go check that guy out and subscribe to him. He deserves it. Theo Pearson says, this is gayer than your hair. Well, considering how gay my hair is, this may be the biggest compliment I've ever had. So thank you so much. Mr. Caleb G 98 says, do more of these music kind of videos. The meme song makes me laugh every time I hear it. Oh, thank you so much. The meme song, for those of you who haven't heard it, is called Hashtag For The Views. It's a video that I do that's just uh, talk about all the different things YouTubers, you see like almost every YouTube channel do uh, to kind of bring in the views, which I don't see anything wrong with. So just throwing that out there as well. Also, go check out Mr. Caleb G 98 another channel you all should go and subscribe to. Depressed Kermit says, you're a good singer, dude. Well, thank you. I mean, I'm not sure that I agree with you, but thank you nonetheless. Itchy nipple. Next up, we have one of my original followers from way back in the day, Sheepdog Sherlock. He says, Gator, what did you do? This is the first video that doesn't look like fuzzy shit. Finally, looks clear and HD. Looks good. On my phone, at least. Well, uh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I stopped sending my videos uh, from my phone through the Facebook Messenger and then downloading them to my computer. So what I started using was this app called Dropbox, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, it takes a while. You really want to be on a Wi-Fi when you upload your videos, but you upload them to Dropbox and then download them from Dropbox off the computer, and it keeps the quality, which is pretty fucking awesome. So there you go. Next comment comes from Nicolay Dravin. He says, I'd love to see you and Edubs do a collab. Also, new sub from last week. I wasn't vocal about it. Well, thank you for not going around bragging about subbing and expecting some kind of pat on the back. Of course I would love to do a collab with Idubs. I mean, who the fuck wouldn't, especially in my position? Even if we never did the videos before, I still would want to do something with him. He's fucking hilarious. His content's great. Who wouldn't want to do that? But let's be honest here. A collab with me? That would do nothing for him. I mean, honestly, it may even hurt him, if that's possible. Next comment comes from Zelthan. Says, dude, you're so cool. You definitely earned my sub. You're so relaxed in front of the camera, so it's really easy to listen to you. Handsome dude and great taste in fashion. Now, my first instinct when I hear something like this is there's a heavy dose of sarcasm, but I'm not going to take it as such. I'm going to stay positive about this regardless if it's sarcasm or not. So here's what I'll say. Thank you so much for the sub and thank you for the compliments. I've been working out a little bit, nothing too crazy. And being relaxed is something that I have to work at in every fucking video. I also feel like I have uh, gotten a lot more comfortable in front of the camera, though. I would agree with you on that. If you go back and watch one of the first videos I did, uh, Gator's Corner, Ghostbusters, and then watch that, then watch this, you'll see fucking, I'm hoping, a huge difference. It's every hater's favorite part of the video. It's time for the very last comment. And today's comment comes from It's Didi. Yay! Now maybe you will read one of my comments someday. I tried to do a funny hate comment just so you would read it on Haters Gonna Hate, but I couldn't because my heart wasn't in it. I can't say anything mean about you, Gator. You're just too damn awesome with your snazzy shades and quirky skits. I'm a lover, and I'm gonna love. Holy fucking shit. It's Didi. I just want to say you are one of my continuous supporters, always leaving love on my videos. It's fans like you that keep me going even when I'm not feeling it. Also, you were right. You don't belong on Haters Gonna Hate. You have always belonged on Lovers Gonna Love! Thank you guys so much for watching and for your support. I wish I could shout out every love comment that I get, but there's just too goddamn many. So thank 
all of you so freaking much. And as always, I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? My meme, yeah. My meme, yeah.